Nelson, alcoholic addict. It's not my real name. I use a pseudonym here at LOL Sober. Uh, I meditate for 20 minutes every day, and uh, lately I've really been enjoying going to YouTube and, and looking up guided meditations. You can find all different lengths, 2 minutes, 5 minutes, 10 minutes, 20 minutes, 2 hours, all different length guided meditations. And there are so many topics available. Um, so like basically you can pick whatever direction you want to go that day, whether it's you want to feel more gratitude or acceptance or getting rid of negativity you can find a guided meditation for it. So it's pretty great. And I always encourage people to try it sometime. I mean, I always have been somebody that says like, oh, I can't sit still or my mind races or I don't have a half hour to do meditation. And um, the truth is that you can find something that will help you on there. Um, and so I've been trying to do that. And lately, I had two in a row recently that mentioned the idea of being a magnet for good things uh, and bad things actually. And I've heard that many times over the years, this idea of um, being a magnet. And I just blow it off as kind of hippie, dippy, new age bullshit. And uh, that's a good window into one of my character defects. Like, I do not have enough open-mindedness when it comes to some of the spiritual stuff. I got to get better at that. And this has been helping because the truth is, the concept that you attract whatever you put out there it does constantly come to fruition in my in my life. Like when I'm having a conversation with somebody and I start just gossiping or being judgmental or complaining, oh my God, like I, com I find myself complaining quite a bit. And the other person tends to start complaining too. And it, you end up with the, this lint trap of crap that you're going to carry with you the rest of the day from a complaint session where you have a bunch of people, two people, three people, whatever, just all complaining together. And it just... It's not, it just doesn't put me in a good place, you know? I've also found the opposite to be true. Like when I express gratitude or something positive in a conversation, like the other person doesn't tell me to go fuck myself, you know, right? Like they, they tend to keep rowing the direction in that positive, um, they row the conversation in that positive direction. So, you know, if I'm on a rant and uh, a person steers it more toward a positive direction, I ultimately reverse course a little bit, you know, um, and I get dragged in a more positive thought process. So it really is magnetization, you know, and I, it reminds me of a recent interaction I had with somebody that I hadn't seen in a while. Like I'm still at the fist bump stage of reentering society. Like I'm not quite ready for handshakes again yet. And Jesus hugs like that's you're basically asking me to meet you at the motel for an hour, you know, like you got to buy me a few dinners first. Okay, sir. So anyway, I saw this guy and I wanted to say hello. So I reached out with a fist bump and almost at almost exactly the same time he put out his hand for a handshake and he saw my fist bump. He converted his handshake to a fist bump also. And we fist bumped and it was nice. We exchanged pleasantries and uh, it was, it was nice. It was awkward for a second, but ultimately was, was perfectly, perfectly great. Um, and that reminds me of, of my role in being a magnet in that, <laughs> in that situation. Like I've never had anybody who like just leaves their hand out. They just like stare at you with their handshake out there and just doesn't do anything. Um, they meet you where you were at and that goes for my attitude and that's my role. Like I need to be putting out positive stuff into this world because that's what I want back. And I definitely have some people in my life, they just don't want to participate in that crap. They get it. They want to be a magnet like I'm describing. And so when I offer up just a tornado of negative crap, um, they course correct me. And that's, I want to be that kind of person. You know, I don't always want to, to be somebody that needs another person to catch me and turn me around and correct my my behavior. And so I'd rather be that positive example for people. So maybe I can be, maybe I can morph into Magneto and just be a, a huge magnet power source, you know, control magnetic fields. In the meantime, though, maybe I'll just try to stop shit talking that guy in the office as much as I have been. So thanks for letting me share.